99 shaker bottles of protein on the wall. Hey, what's up? My name is Leif. And I'm Anders. And we're the founders of TheVeganGym.com. Our goal is to help 1 million vegans get into the best shape of their lives. And today, we're going to be doing an in-depth protein review of over 70 plant-based protein powders. We've done all the work for you so you can make the most informed decision when it comes to taste, texture, protein content, ingredients, heavy metal testing, cost, and more. Plus, you're going to get exclusive access to our Ultimate Vegan Protein Bundle, where you can download our Vegan Protein Selector, which will tell you exactly which protein powder will work best for you based on the factors that matter most to you, also the scores from this review and where you live in the world. You'll also get access to our Vegan Protein Guide, which will tell you exactly how much plant protein you should be eating every day, when you should be eating that protein, the truth about soy, and much more. You can download our Ultimate Vegan Protein Bundle for free by clicking the first link in the description. Now let's jump into the video. In this review, we are going to be rating 72 protein powders across 7 different categories with 5 possible points in each category for a total high score of 35 possible points. The goal for each powder is to have the most points possible. The 7 different categories that we'll be analyzing are 1. Taste 2. Protein percentage 3. Amount of branch chain amino acids or BCAAs 4. Price 5. Ingredients 6. Heavy metals and 7. Customer service and company transparency We mixed each protein powder with unsweetened plain almond milk according to the mixing instructions on the package. Anders and I did not look at any protein powders during the review. We had an assistant off to the side who told us the listed flavor of each protein once we had tasted it. To avoid as much subjectiveness as possible, we divided the taste scores into four subcategories that we ranked from one to five. After rating each protein powder, we average the scores across all four subcategories to arrive at a final taste score. All right, <laughs> let's put our blindfolds on. Blink. Nice. Cheers. Tastes like really bad pancake batter. It was pretty creamy though. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, it tastes like the cinnamon toast crunch, but like the, the worst version of that you've ever had. <laughs> How is that vanilla? Yeah, that's not vanilla. That did not taste like vanilla at all. Nope, nope, nope. Is there I haven't even here? taken a sip yet and it doesn't smell that good. Yeah. Ew! Tastes like something you'd scrape off the bottom of a boat. Can't say I've ever tasted that before. We need the flavor. Yeah, what's the flavor? Vanilla. What? No! Oh. <laughs> Wrong! Mmm, blueberry. No, it's like banana maple. I'm pretty sure that's planta. Smells not so good. I didn't have a single word to, that comes to mind when I tasted that. Me. Oh, now I have one. No, thank you. <laughs> I got a weird chemical taste. It's creamy. I don't like the aftertaste. It's a little chemical-y. Mm -hmm. Like the aftertaste. You taste that? Immediately thought of like the Simpsons factory <laughs> plant. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it 
tastes like c cereal. I do taste um, some peanut butter. I don't. Like a super artificial maple. I'm I'm going to guess, and this might be cookies and cream. Strength of flavor: salted caramel. Guess I can taste a little bit of it. Yeah, I can see that. Whoa, that smell it smells like fumes of gasoline. <laughs> Whoa, no me gusta. <laughs> fumes of gasoline. <laughs> no to that. What is that? That is so bad. That's unfortunate. I don't know what the flavor is. I do taste cake, fake cake batter a little bit. The texture on that was not bad. I think this is a weak grass flavor. Strength of flavor, vanilla chai. Texture. Actually, I do taste the chai a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to swallow it. That's hemp. Hemp. <laughs> <laughs> That's unsweetened hemp. My eyes are watering. <laughs> wow, that's refreshing. I guess that's vanilla. That was not a bad protein. That wasn't bad. That was, that was a nice smooth one. Interesting smell. Hmm. Kind of banana-ish. I feel like this is one of those, uh, another one of those, like, hey, cereal milk. Yeah, it's yeah. hard to place. Uh oh. It's like what? peanut butter mud. It smell. Uh, tastes a little bit like charcoal. Drink the flavor vanilla bean. Oh, I I can taste the bean part. Yeah, I guess I can too. But it tastes like peanut butter. Oh, that's not inviting. It's the total opposite of the last one. Tastes like chocolate peanut butter. I taste peanut butter. That was not bad. No, that wasn't bad. Yeah, I liked it. You can always tell by the smell. It's pretty decent. Can't put my finger on what that flavor is. I think probably just vanilla. Uh, that that's pretty good. That is my ideal mm -hmm. texture yeah, for that's, protein powder. It's pretty solid. You can taste the, the pea protein. Got an aftertaste. Uh, it tastes very much like vanilla, but I mean, it's that doesn't mean that I like it. Also probably vanilla, but a weird vanilla. You know what that tastes like? Unflavored coconut yogurt. I don't know if I'm gonna like that. <laughs> I don't like the smell. That's a one sipper. That was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, based off of how I heard it go down your <laughs> esophagus. It's gonna be a strong flavor. <laughs> Next. That's like drinking uh, like yeast, you know? <laughs> you know, if you like unflavored protein mm. powders, I, I, I could see why that <laughs> wouldn't be bad. Tastes like a, a this vanilla. Yeah, it tastes like a really artificial vanilla. Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh. that smells like cake pancake batter or a cake batter. This is ghost cereal milk. Whoa! Pretty solid. I used to eat that all the time. Yeah, that was good. Mm. Holy sugar. This tastes so artificial. Strength of flavor, vanilla caramel. I was wondering what that flavor was. Wow, another very strong smelling flavor. Wow, that's sweet. Yeah, it is. Hmm. I'm going Strength to assume it's just vanilla. Oh, I think so. Strength of flavor, salted caramel. Interesting. That's actually quite good. Yeah. Ooh, peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gotta be peanut butter. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, a little gritty, but peanut buttery. Weird. It's like protein powder flavored water. Um, 
Very weak vanilla. I'm going to say cookies and cream. It's kind of like a mm. like creamsicle-y. I don't know if I want to like that. Ugh. Tastes like almost <laughs> salty. Uh oh. All right, you ready? No. At first, based on the smell, I was like, ooh. But then you taste it and it's not terrible. And it's double ooh. <laughs> it's such a weird flavor. Strength of flavor, peanut butter cookie. What type of peanut butter cookies do they eat? We're on like a afternoon protein IV drip. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but that is still the mucho bado. That's a vanilla. Some KOS vanilla. Pretty sure I don't like it. <laughs> Is it blueberry cobbler? Blueberry scone. Yeah, I taste the blueberry, but it's not a good blueberry. I got it in windows. Life's quiet. That means it's bad. <laughs> tastes like it's supposed it's to be another artificial, like another cereal milk something. Frosted oatmeal cookie. I feel like they just put like names in a yeah. hat and just pull it out. And be like, oh yeah, it's that. <laughs> yeah, they like made it, and then they were like, what could this possibly taste like? <laughs> Oh, oh, are you, are you serious? We're not even halfway. So Man, fair idea. Mm, coffee, chocolate coffee, my two least favorite foods. This is chocolate peanut butter. It smells chemically. What is in this? There are peaches. I don't like it. I think it's supposed to be like a uh, s'mores or something. What is that? Chocolate. Is it? Yeah, not good. Chocolate mocha. Oh, Chocolate that's that mocha. Yeah, that's that interesting flavor there. Yeah, that wasn't special. It wasn't bad. A little gritty. Also a very fake taste. But vanilla? I don't I don't quite know what it is. Vanilla? I'd probably guess vanilla. It's it's a good vanilla. Whoa, that is some potent smell. That's harsh. What spice is that? Pumpkin spice? Vanilla spice? Mm, yeah. I like that better than the other one. Oh no. Mm, mm, mm. So bad. How is that legal? <laughs> Strength of flavor, chocolate. Chocolate, are you kidding me? I don't want to swallow it. You're totally serious about that? That's chocolate? Yeah, I think that is cake batter. It does taste like vanilla, but I seem like there was more substance to that. That that's a that's not a bad one. Uh, again, it, it it I just don't like the thickness. I'm sweating. Oh no. Don't smell it first. You're not gonna want to drink it. You drank it. I can tell you're quiet. I actually think that might be unflavored, and if it is, it's the best unflavored I have ever had. Or it's a very, very, very light vanilla. I think that would have to be vanilla. I think it's one of those minimal ones, you know? I yeah. Have, and it's like, I'm actually quite impressed like a, with that. Like a palate cleanser. Yeah. Kind of thing. Guess it's just vanilla or it's unflavored. It's kind of the same thing. It's like... And it's more than just vanilla. Oh, uh, there is something else. Yeah, I don't know. There's what an aftertaste, something. Yeah. There's a weird aftertaste, but I can't say it's like bad. Oh, that does not smell good. Mmm. Oh. Don't throw up on me! No thanks. I'll pass. You took some lifting chalk and you just mixed it in water. So much better than the last one. Really gritty, but... I want to say this is a uh, cinnamon, cinnamon bun. bun. <laughs> mm. mm. Kind of gritty though. It's like foamy. What is that, pennies? Tastes like pennies. <laughs> pennies? Like, like Metallic. money pennies? Yeah. Think of flavor, vanilla. <laughs> False. Ew. Wow, that's... Smells fruity. What is that? I don't know. It does taste fruity-ish. 
He's like lab strawberry. Yeah, it's, it's a very poor artificial strawberry flavor. Not bad. That's vanilla. I think that's the best vanilla protein I've ever had. Really? Yeah. That's the highest one that you scored I know. so far. Wow. Is this what we do for work? <laughs> <laughs> I am sweating on the back. I've never sweated on my spine before. That's kind of nice. Because it's also a subtle vanilla. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Whoa. That's like fudge brownie. Yeah, if you like chocolate, you probably like the taste of this. That is the nicest chocolate tasting protein that I've had. My first pie was a chocolate protein. That's a solid chocolate protein. Yeah, if you like chocolate, I think you'd really like that. Peanut butter. I already can smell it. I don't know, there have been a few peanut butters that have turned out to be vanilla. No, that's peanut butter. It does taste like peanut butter though. This is Oregon peanut butter, straight up. I used to mix this with my cream of wheat all the time. Is that really vanilla? That so smells and tastes like peanut butter. What is that, mud? Chocolate mud. No, I guess it's just vanilla. Oh, original. Chocolate! Mm. I feel like we're on a chocolate like patch right now. Wow. That was good. Yeah. That's that might be the highest rated one. That is quite good. Oh no. Sorry. I mean bleep. It's not bad. It's not a great vanilla. I feel like this is another one of those vanilla bean. Yeah, it does taste very artificial. Chemicals. That's what that is. Let's go. Ooh, peanut butter. You really want to commit to that again? I would guess peanut butter too. Quite smooth, actually. You don't taste the chocolate as much. It's It tastes more like... It's a nice balance between the it tastes two. tastes more like really roasted peanut butter. It's more than bad. Hey guys, how are we feeling so far? Oh. <laughs> Ready for some more protein. I feel worse than the how blessed tasted. <sighs> All right. <laughs> that one needs a one sipper. <laughs> oh, the aftertaste, man. Yeah, what is that? Oh, that's vanilla? I was guessing like crayon. Oh, what is that? I got pickups. Chocolate. Anything I've else? been more impressed with the chocolate ones. Yeah, this. I'm surprisingly the same. Yeah. Chocolate cookies and with chocolate cream. What number actually, it's not 47. I Cheers. feel defeated. Yeah, actually, protein poisoning is a real thing. We're gonna get it. Not impressed. It's like foamy. Cheers. There we go. It's chocolate, but it tastes leady. Chocolate? That's a weird chocolate. That's chocolate. Hyper sweet. <laughs> it tinkles. <laughs> I don't know what that flavor is. Is that vanilla? That flavor is intriguing. Yeah. I'm uh. That's pretty solid. You know, I seriously thought I would be despising all the protein powders by now, but I can't say that. That'll sound like we're skewing the data. <laughs> no, but it's like we're having some solid ones. That's what I'm saying. So that's vanilla. It's a weird vanilla. But it's smooth. I like that. <sighs> like a butterscotch? That aftertaste. Yeah, it's weird. No, it's just not good. Like a toffee butterscotch. That's not impressive. <clears throat> Pretty smooth. I think it's vanilla. Not enough of a vanilla taste in my that's opinion. That's like a van uh, vanilla cream. It's more creamy. It needs a little bit more vanilla flavor. 
Well, that's quite chocolatey. Strength of flavor, chocolate sea salt. You can taste the sea salt in that. Yeah, I can, I can too. It's actually quite nice. Mmm. Interesting. Yeah, a little strange. I'm um, ready for scoring. Vanilla. Toasted coconut. I do taste some coconut. Oh, wow. I don't like coconut. And that's the one I eat every day. <laughs> 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 you can't go wrong with toasted coconut for true nutrition. I don't know what that is. I'm not feeling it though. It's chocolate. It makes my hair on my neck curl. <laughs> it's there, but not. Miss the mark a little bit. 99 shaker bottles of protein on the wall. Close that armpit up. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. I need more liquid. I don't like that flavor. You can taste the vanilla, but man, that ratio is wrong. Yeah. It's vanilla, but it's like like watered down beans that were grown in a manure field. <laughs> what? <laughs> not good. It has a weird, weird kind of poor choice in ingredients. That vanilla is not, yeah, it wasn't that, that's not enjoyable. It's a final countdown. <laughs> if I had to name the flavor, it would be that. <laughs> I, just, oh, I don't understand. Where are these ingredients coming from? No bueno. Strawberry. I think that's just vanilla. No. It does taste a little strawberry-y. There's strawberry in there. I'm confident about it. Strength of flavor, vanilla. No. <laughs> I'm confident. Just stop saying you're confident about the vanilla stuff because it's, it's nice though. This is nice and creamy. Really? I don't know what flavor that is. I have no idea. I can't taste vanilla in that. No matter it's how hard so, I try to think about it. So subtle. It's not bad. It's not vanilla. I don't know what that is though. Yeah, it's not I don't have a, a a description, a word to describe that flavor. Hmm. I haven't even taken a <laughs> sip in this banana. Is that really banana? Mm mm. <laughs> help! Help! <laughs> what what is, is that, that flavor? Banana peel? <laughs> It does taste like banana peel. That's exactly what it tastes like. Because it's not like actual like tasty banana. It's like <laughs> no, it's like oh. the discarded part. It's like hey, like you want some compost water? And it's it's probably gonna be banana. If it's yeah. compost water, I'll give it a five. <laughs> the last protein. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up for all the pain and agony that we've gone through to consuming over 200 grams of protein each in six hours. All right, last one. Bottoms up, whoops. Um, All right, shut up, let's go. <laughs> not the best, not the worst. Not bad, but I'm very not <laughs> impressed. I think when in doubt, you say vanilla. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know, vanilla, but it's like, it's a really weird taste. To wrap it up, um, to say that this tastes like vanilla, it's like trying to say like I'm an elephant. And that's a wrap. We're done! Feel more accomplished than after my half Iron Man. All right, six and a half hours later, 72 proteins. If anything, we deserve a like on this video. So hit that thumbs up. So a taste test is done and these are our winners after we have gone through and averaged all four subcategories for the taste test. So what are your thoughts? The, the only flavor that I've ever had is Owen, but I've never actually had their protein powder. I've only had their pre-made drinks. Highly suggest to have that, the powder instead of the actual pre-made drinks uh, because that tastes way better. 
Yeah, I actually, I haven't had this powder either. So I also have not consumed any of these prior to the taste test review, which is pretty surprising. So yeah, I, I was blown away. Um, I am very surprised that Optimum Nutrition Vanilla was my highest ranking because I don't even like go to vanilla protein powders. I like chocolate more than anything else. Um, so that was kind of a surprise to me. <laughs> so I'm exactly the opposite and I highly prefer vanilla. So actually the chocolate ones for my ratings are even more impressive because I'm not really a big fan of chocolate. I was very surprised about his, uh, his rankings for those. Yeah. <laughs> So personally, I would say my favorite one was actually the form in terms of flavor. And I just, uh, I think it just had a, a really rich vanilla flavor. I, think, I, I thought it tasted really good. Yeah, I was going to say the form, I specifically remember it being very smooth and rich. Uh, and it didn't, I didn't have any grittiness or anything from that. And it's cool to see a peanut butter, like a purely peanut butter one on there as well. Um, yeah, that's the only uh, non-chocolate or non, yeah. non-vanilla one in, uh, in all the winners. So the top one overall was Owen Dark Chocolate. It had 4.125 points averaged across the subcategories with both honors and my scores. And then the other four uh, all averaged to be four points. I was quite surprised with the, the outcome of the, the taste test, that's for sure. So generally, if protein powders taste good on their own, they're gonna taste good mixed into things like nice cream or oatmeal or some other kinds of baked goods or whatever you're cooking. So yeah, yeah highly suggest that you try these for their taste. They're really delicious. All right, so here are three protein powders we highly do not recommend trying if you have taste buds. So these two tied for being the worst. They received a score of one across the board. This one, I would want to give a special shout out for potentially I, deserving zeros across the board. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm kind of speechless when it comes to that. You, you would think the flavor is uh, s'mores is delicious, but I don't know what was going on with that one at all. <laughs> Under said it tasted like melted tires and I tend to agree. So obviously our taste profiles are subjective and they're personal to us. And maybe you really like the taste of melted tires. If so, this is a perfect protein powder for you. So we realized that the taste testing is really subjective and that's why we created six other categories which are not subjective. So let's jump into category two. So here are the top five protein powders in terms of highest percentage of protein per calorie. This is True Nutrition Pea Protein. It has 90.9% protein. It's actually the only one in the entire review that has over 90% protein per calorie. Dang. So that's pretty good. And then next we have Protein Works Vegan Protein Extreme with 86.2% protein. Then we have plant protein or plint. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. I don't think it's plint. <laughs> plint. The chocolate protein with 84.4% protein. And then we have form performance vanilla protein with 80.5% protein. And then last in the top five, we have switch nutrition, the chocolate sea salt with 80.4% protein. So if you're looking for a high percentage protein in your protein powder, these are the ones to go with. And if you wanna see a full breakdown of how all the protein powders stacked up, you can download our Ultimate Vegan Protein Bundle by clicking the first link in the description. Here are the top five protein powders in terms of BCAA content. Up first, we have Vivo Life Perform, the banana and cinnamon flavor with 5.3 grams of BCAAs per 20 gram serving of protein. 
Next, we have Veg Vanilla Ice Cream with 5.1 grams of BCAAs per 20 gram serving of protein. Tied for third place, we have Huel. We have the salted caramel and the vanilla caramel flavors. They both have 4.8 grams of BCAAs per 20 gram serving of protein. Next, we have True Nutrition Pea Protein. This is a toasted coconut flavor. It has 4.58 grams of BCAAs. And last but not least, to round out the top five, we have Botanica Blends Vanilla Cake Batter. It has 4.51 grams of BCAAs per 20 gram serving of protein. Now, when it comes to BCAA content, there is one protein powder that we wanna highlight. Beam told us that a 20 gram serving of protein contains 11.86 grams of BCAAs. This is simply impossible. The main protein in here is pea protein, but pea protein has approximately 19 grams of BCAAs per 100 grams of protein. So in other words, it's impossible to have almost 12 grams of BCAAs in less than 30 grams of protein powder. And that's why we did not include them in the top five. We reached out to ask their company about this and they gave us a weird response that didn't make any sense. So that's why we docked them points. So here are the cleanest protein powders in this review. These contain no artificial sweeteners, no sugar alcohols, and no fillers. So there are a few of these protein powders that rated high on our taste test, such as the form proteins, but most of these didn't rate so highly. So it's important to understand that companies add artificial sweeteners, sugar alcohols, and filler ingredients to bring more flavor to the protein powders. So just understand that sometimes you're gonna have to sacrifice taste for cleaner ingredients and vice versa. So let's look at some of the worst protein powders in terms of the added ingredients. So all of these protein powders scored a one out of five when it came to their ingredients profile, and that's because they contain artificial sweeteners or sugar alcohols or fillers or a combination of two or three of those different categories. If you are looking for a cleaner protein powder, these are the ones that we would suggest you avoid. If you wanna see a full breakdown of all the different components of the ingredients that these protein powders contain, as well as all of the other ones, then you can download our Ultimate Vegan Protein Bundle by clicking the first link in the description. Here are all the protein powder companies that were able to share an official certificate of heavy metal test results that were below the required limits. So we have Bear Performance, Botanica Blends, Complement Protein, Garn of Life Raw Organic and Garn of Life Sports, New Zest Clean Lean Protein, Aura So Lean and So Clean, PE Science, Switch Nutrition, True Nutrition, Veg, Vivo Life Perform and Vivo Life Vegan Protein. So those are the top ones that do have heavy metal testing. And if that's what you're concerned about, these are the companies to go with. So there's a long list of companies that were not able to give us third party heavy metal test results. All of those are listed in the download below. When it comes to customer service and company transparency, there's a long list of companies that were able to answer all of our questions and were easy to work with. There was just one single company that didn't respond to us at all, and that was Plant Fuel. So if you're looking for customer service, this probably isn't the company that you should go with.
So as you can see, our surroundings have changed and that's because we discovered an error in our price calculation for this review. And we discovered that after the video already had 10,000 views, which is a little bit of a bummer, but we do things right at the vegan gym, which is why we went through and we redid all the calculations. So here are the top five protein powders in terms of cost. So coming in first place with the lowest cost per 20 gram serving of protein, we have Naked Pea Chocolate, which comes in at just 77 cents for a 20 gram serving of protein. Coming in second place, we have True Nutrition Pea Protein Toasted Coconut, which comes in at 84 cents per 20 gram serving of protein. In third place, we have MRM Veggie Elite, the chocolate mocha flavor that comes in at 94 cents per 20 gram serving of protein. Coming in at number four, we have Plint Protein or Plant, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that. <laughs> the chocolate flavor that comes in at $1.15 per 20 gram serving. And then we have the Caged Muscle Plantain, the peanut butter cookie, which is really delicious or at least I thought it was really delicious. <laughs> I forget what I said during the review, but I use that a lot. And that comes in at $1.15 per 20 gram serving of protein as well. And here are the top three most expensive protein powders that we sampled in this review. So coming in at the most expensive overall, we have Cachava Vanilla coming in at $4.37 per 20 gram serving of protein. Wowza. Guess they have <laughs> gold flakes or something uh, in the ingredient list. The second most expensive overall is Truvani, the chocolate peanut butter flavor coming in at $2.86 per 20 gram serving of protein. And then the third most expensive overall is the Botanica Blends vanilla cake batter coming in at $2.82 per 20 gram serving of protein. You pay for high quality marketing packaging. The, the packaging is actually pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it is cool. It's, uh, <laughs> but that's there, what you're paying for. <laughs> there was another one, I guess it was the Owen, that came in a an actual metal container. Remember that? Oh, that was the NoCal. Oh, NoCal. Yeah. Yeah, that was that's Which pretty cool. I, that is the first I've seen. That's yeah, I'd really, pay a little bit extra for that. Yeah, that's that cool. really cool. So those are the seven categories that we analyzed for this vegan protein powder review. Each category had a high potential score of five points, meaning that the overall potential high score was 35 points. Here are the top winners across all of the categories. All right, so the overall winner for our entire review was Switch Nutrition Chocolate Sea Salt. Awesome work. It was very delicious. Yeah, it had a high score for our taste test. It was one of the best in terms of taste. It came in with a score of four for that. Really across the board, it did exceptionally well and it got a score of 32 out of 35 possible points. It swept. And you know it's good when it's a chocolate one that's number one and Leif rated it really high. So I do not like chocolate. So the fact that it got high marks for chocolate I was trying to be as unbiased as possible with the taste review and it uh, it was a really great chocolate flavor and that's not even my thing. So if you like chocolate, you should really love the Swish Nutrition. For second place, we had a three-way tie with protein powders coming in at 28 out of 35 possible points across the board for these three powders. We have Vivo Life Perform, Banana and Cinnamon. Vivo Life Vegan Protein, the vanilla flavor, and then also True Nutrition Pea Protein Toasted Coconut. Again, all of them had 28 out of 35 possible points. So anything that you want to shout out here? It it speaks uh, with the Vivo, uh, Vivo Life products that they're really high quality ingredients and they have a really good profile. Just because the taste isn't the best or rated the highest, it still outperforms a lot of the other powders. And we've heard other people say that yeah. Vivo tastes amazing, so. I think it comes down to acquired taste. It's not my taste. <laughs> yeah, this it did not score highly for our taste, but maybe you love the taste. And if you love the taste and it happens to be really great in all these other categories, then that's an obvious pick for you. And then uh, I would say for the, the true nutrition, the really cool thing, I don't like the toasted coconut flavor. They do have a lot of other flavors that you can customize on their website. You can add vitamins, you can add um, additives like BCAs and so forth. You can customize 
they, they have a really cool platform that, to do that. With. And they have so. tons of different flavors as well that you can check out. So that's just the one that we tested. I actually really love the toasted coconut flavor, but I don't even think I scored it very high in this. No. <laughs> it's uh, actually probably the protein powder I use the most personally. Uh, I mix it into oatmeal all the time. I have it in smoothies and the toasted coconut is just a, a really good kind of subtle flavor for those. But that, again, that's my personal input and the blind taste test, I guess, said something very different. Just don't drink it on your own by itself. <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe that is, that's the difference here. So for third place, we also had a three-way tie, all scoring 26 out of 35 possible points. So the first one, we have New Zest Clean Lean Protein, the vanilla flavor, New Zest Clean Lean Protein, the wild strawberry flavor, and then Garden of Life Sport Protein, the vanilla flavor. The wild strawberry for the New Zest and the vanilla for the Garden of Life, we scored a little bit higher on the taste test. It wasn't amazing, but uh, towards the top. And yeah, just across the board, all of these companies did well in the other categories, which is why they tied for third place. I do want to shout out these companies for doing really well with customer service. Actually, all of these top winners did, and all of these protein powders had certificates of analysis for third-party heavy metal testing, which is something that should really matter to you when you're choosing a protein powder. So out of the seven categories for these different protein powders, which one would you say is your number one category that you're looking at? Hands down, taste. If it doesn't yeah. taste good, I don't want to drink it. I don't want to eat it. Um, I'm willing to spend more for good taste and I'm willing to lower the BCA content because I can get it from other things. I just want my food to taste good. <laughs> cool. And I also factor in how my body digests protein powders too. Even if it tastes really amazing, I need to make sure that everything goes smoothly. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a little bit of a hard category to track. <laughs> yeah. We'll get back uh, to you on that one. Uh, Andre's digestive issues. <laughs> Man, all none of them would score very well. <laughs> no, got some wouldn't. issues. <laughs> you know. Yeah, and maybe you mix these protein powders into a smoothie or oatmeal or something, and then it tastes way different to you, and it's not just done in almond milk or water or something. So, yeah, it's uh, it's important for you to keep in mind whatever category matters most to you, and that's exactly why we created our vegan protein selector tool. So, depending on what matters most to you, based on the categories that we rated in this review, you can download our vegan protein selector tool, which is going to help you choose a protein powder based on your personal preferences and also based on where you live in the world. In fact, when you click the first link in our description, you're gonna be able to download our ultimate vegan protein bundle for free. As part of this free bundle, you're gonna get three really valuable resources. The first is the vegan protein guide, and in this guide, you're gonna learn how much plant protein you should be eating to burn body fat and build lean muscle, the truth about vegan protein quality, how high protein diets affect your kidneys, when you should be eating plant protein, everything you need to know about soy, and much more. You're also gonna get access to our vegan protein powder selector tool. And the third thing that you'll be able to download in this bundle is our favorite protein packed vegan recipes. You'll get 18 of our favorite protein packed vegan recipes that are delicious, nutritious, and of course, packed with plant protein. Well, that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share it and we'll catch you in the next video.